I want to ask Chris again. I'm um, sorry, the video kind of cut off on me. I ran out of video space, and who knew? So um, here I am again, and um, I wanted to uh, go back to where we were um, about talking about the subconscious and the conscious. Now, your subconscious is the little guy in there that when you put something into it, it learns it, and it goes and looks for it. It, may, it takes your brain, and it's like your little auto-focuser to the world that allows you to go out and find whatever it is you're looking for. Now, with technology being the way it is, it allows everyone to be able to get in a lot quicker. And um, to me, there's no reason why, with all the technology in the world, with Google and, you know, newspapers and um, and the news and, and all this technology that we have for information purposes that you couldn't do exactly what it is that you want to do or find the people that you want to find that are doing exactly what it is that you want to do and ask questions and get involved in what it is that you want to do. There's no reason for it. And for people to say, I can't, or, or to, to, to just give up on it is ridiculous. But the reason is that those people say they can't is because they don't know. They don't know that this information is available for everyone to learn. And you just have to step out and you have to tell your subconscious mind, I want to learn something new. I want it to be this, 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 and this. And put it out there and put desire in your heart to find it. And take action and look for it and you'll find it. So um, let's go back to C equals consciousness and Y equals subconsciousness. So <laughs> my son's watching me do this video and looking at me strange. But um, I, I, he messed me up. So I'm going to go back to uh, The minute I put out to the universe that I want to learn another language, my brain is saying that it will be hard and, and, and you know, da-da-da-da-da-da and all the things that, you know, we talked about on the last video about um, the reason, you know, we do not understand a lot of things just because our belief systems. Um, we have beliefs implanted in us from generation to generation. And, you know, these teachers and your parents, and God bless them, everybody that has been in your life, and you may have had some very successful people in your life and gotten lucky that they were able to give you a path and a journey early on. But for most people, they have been living what their grandparents think, their mothers think, they think is all the same. Um, and if you don't have change in your life and it's not different than your parents or your grandparents, then, then you need to reevaluate your life. And if you want more, then you need to do more than your grandparents did. So, um, for example, our parents tell you you've got to work 40 hours a week. You have to get an education. Those are all great things. But... No one ever tells you that you can do anything you want to do. Most of us, you know, my mother did tell me that I can be anything I want to be. But, you know, pretty much go get a job and work 40 hours a week and make some money so you can move out and, and get on your own is basically how people think these days. And until you um, get out there and you start working and you live paycheck to paycheck, you realize that that paycheck isn't enough for you and that you need to either do something more or stay the same. And to me... If you don't grow right then and there, you're stopping yourself because um, I lived in an apartment when I was 17, um, but that doesn't mean that I wanted to stay in that apartment the rest of my life. I certainly wanted to have a house. I wanted to do better for myself. I wanted to move up in the world. And the way you move up in the world is to change your mind, to, to change what you've been doing. So, you know, if you're living paycheck to paycheck and never getting ahead, and all you do is eat and sleep, and you barely have any time to spend with your families, and the blessings um, that you have because you're exhausted, the fact is, if you want more money, more anything, you have to do what the successful people are doing to get there. And follow those doing what you want to do, and... Um, you, it's inevitable. You're going to have it if you do what other people do, and they've done it. And so, you know, this is how you get there. And, you know, it's common sense, but, you know, we lack it. We lack it in this society. This society is so stuck on I can't, and the world is never going to change, and the government stinks, and by and by and on and on, that they don't see that they're creating their own mess. Um, 
you know, if you sit and watch the news every day, you'll get depressed. I, I tend to not watch the news every day um, because, you know what, the news will come to you. People will give you the news. You don't even have to watch it. You'll hear about it from somebody telling some negative stuff out there. So you're going to hear it. So, you know, pay attention to what is important to you and what resonates with you because this is important um, step. Uh, you have to give up that TV watching. Um, maybe one night a week do it. Uh, and, and take the, that time that you would be watching TV and start to read a book. Um, next, the next thing is to su study successful people. Think and Grow Rich, written by Napoleon Hill. It's an awesome book, and every person who chooses to be successful in life should read this book. And most people that I know have read the book, so they understand where I'm coming from. But if you were to ask, and I took, um, I took some time out this weekend, and it was really funny, um, to ask people, do you know Bob Proctor? And they would say, no, who is that? You know. And the, the point is, is that you know, here's a man that's been teaching self-development for 40 years, and there's people out there that have never heard of his name. And and it stunned me because you know, I never heard of him until two years ago when I went searching for self-development, and that's where I found him. And he was been there all along. It hasn't been like he wasn't there before. And it just is when the teacher, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher is going to be there. And that's what happened is the student was ready to learn it and the teacher was there. I just hope that um, I can teach my son before he has to wait till he's 40 years old and um, that he could change his life when he's 20 or 19 or 18 or now if he wants to. That's up to him. And I want to teach him how to do it. And... You know, this is this is what I'm doing. So, um, I listen to inspirational videos. I listen to inspiration while I'm driving. I take I buy CDs. I have CD program on the Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I have that program, and um, I listen to it daily on the on the way. Or I may have some recordings of some old music that might really inspire me um, and and push me along. And sometimes. The music is really exciting to me because it puts me back in a time when there, I know that that there was hope and that there was dreams, and and those that music that I've been listening to has words in it that I really didn't hear when I was younger, but now I'm hearing the words and they are awesome. These <laughs> these songs are awesome, and now I know why I like them. So um, until next time, be blessed, and um, I have. A lot more to talk to you about in my journal that I created this weekend, so um, next video. Bye-bye.